Hola, me again uh, in Granada this time. I think you see this man over here. Look. I'm on the uh, Avenida de la Constitution. And they, they seem to have one of these in just about every uh, city that I've been in. Seville have one of these as well. Um, it's like a little thoroughfare, a park sort of thing, the walkway that got, cuts through the sort of city centre. And I'm on my way back to the bus depot. I caught the bus up here this morning. Now, this is the fourth time that I've been to Granada. I think. Uh, twice with the family and I actually drove in, not something that I would recommend, uh, and we went to the Alhambra both times, but this is the second time that I've been here without going to see to the Alhambra and also coming in on the bus, which I could certainly recommend. I've mentioned the buses the other day, and the bus journey up here from uh, Salabrena is, is quite amazing. It's worth coming up here just, just to do the bus journey because the, the, the scenery is pretty amazing. I did it before with my mate Clive. Um, we sat in this sort of area and made a video, I think, actually, and uh, walked down this particular road. Um, and we did that uh, bus journey from Orgiba, uh, which is uh, possibly even more stunning because of the twisty, turny ways that you do things. But it's, it's quite amazing scenery. Um, but I love the town. What I've done today is pretty much what myself and Clive did. I, I've allowed myself to get lost a little bit once again. That's the way to see a city, as I've mentioned before. Um, up to the sort of Albertine area, which is Arabic quarter, which is opposite, I suppose, there's a little river, Rio something, I don't know what it is, uh, that runs between the Alhambra and the Arab quarter, the Albertine, and uh, that sort of overlooks it, so you get some great views, you wander up there, and the old quarter, as I said, you, you can get lost, as I did, but it doesn't matter, because that's just what it's all about, it's my whole idea, having been here a few times before, was just to sort of experience it a bit, and just to spend a few hours here, have, have, you know, wander about and, and, and soak it in a little bit, I suppose, which is one of the thing, uh, good things to do. So I, I did get a little bit lost. I met a, a great little a spot up there, a mirador, I think they like to call them, which is like a viewpoint. But it's, uh, I don't know if it's a monastery or something like that. There's this wonderful square which overlooks uh, the valley, little valley there, right up to the Alhambra itself, which is on the other side. And then behind that is the Sierra Nevada. When I was here before with Clive about three years ago, we were here in March and there was snow up on top of the Sierra Nevada mountains. There ain't no snow <laughs> there today. It's pretty damn hot here, but then I expected that to be like this uh, at this particular time of the year. So I thought I'd check in for that. Great place, I'd certainly recommend it to anybody. I had a wander around, had a look around, put myself a t-shirt, and had a wander around the streets, and I'm now working my way back. And I think I've got a seat, because so what they do here is they actually, um, allocate your seats I hadn't really noticed that the other day when I did one particular trip I just sort of sat where I wanted to but if you look on the tickets they actually put a, a, a seat number on it and I'm in seat number two on the way back so I'm thinking that that's going to be right in the middle right on the front so that's going to look uh, pretty good I reckon so there you go anyway I shall speak to you again soon no doubt. Adios.